you Pike viewers and welcome to the December edition of Bear TV News, the last edition of the fall 2015 semester. I'm Marianne Fletcher. And I'm Jackson Hussey and we're here to cover some of the most recent news around u Pike and the surrounding community. In today's show we will be featuring stories on the u Pike Startup Challenge, a National Greek Life Absorption, a study abroad trip, a meditation experience, and Greek Week here at u Pike, along with a few other exciting stories. But for our first story of the day, students and community members had the chance to compete for investment at UPIC's annual startup challenge. Our reporter, Brian Dunn, has more on the story. On Saturday, December 5th, eight teams gathered at the Coleman College of Business to present startups. Each team had a limited amount of time to convince a panel of judges that their startup was worth investing in. The top three winners would get sums of money to invest in their companies. Do you have one? So in today's competition, we have a variety of, of different businesses. We have uh, two businesses from the community, uh, two startups. We also have uh, some groups of students. We did have over 20 applications. Uh, 11 of those were actually from the community. And we had a variety of products. We had um, everything from a road reflector to organic pesticides to software companies. Uh, it's really interesting what's happening in the startup space here. This was the fourth meeting for the annual event. After each group had presented, Everyone was allowed to mingle while the judges decided on the most profitable startups. Models as our standard for one batch. So we're going to have to produce that um, slowly over a three week period. Our goal was actually to come here and really get a good experience, really. Um, it was part of our assignment that we had to do for our class, but also to really see the other businesses and things that is going on around Pike County. I think the competition is beneficial and I saw a lot of really good competition in there today. A lot of great ideas, things that are scalable, things that can make money and bring opportunities to Pike County, which is really what we need at this time considering how bad things are economically. There have been a wide variety of startups presented today. From moving tools to a social movement, UPIC and its surrounding community have shared a lot of ideas to help make life a lot easier for many folks here. For Bear TV News, I'm Brian Dunn. For those of you interested in developing your own ideas and attracting investors, please visit UPI EDU for more information. A Super Smash Brothers tournament was held on December 8th in the administration building. Students were able to pit some of their favorite video game characters against each other and let off some steam. Pizza was served at the event and some players stuck around afterwards to enjoy some more friendly competition. The action got heated and I must say that it must have been quite the brawl. Come on Marianne, I'm feeling it was a smash. For our next segment, I had the chance to cover a stress relieving meditation session. With finals week just around the corner here at the University of Pikeville, students are seeking different ways to deal with the stress. University chaplain Rob Music says there's a new experience waiting for students that some may have forgotten. I think it's a new experience for most people because, you know, if you lived here in eastern Kentucky, you probably haven't sat around and meditated much. Um, so it's a different experience, which I think all new experiences help us learn. Music also says that finals week is the perfect time for meditation. So like tonight we talked about meditation and using just like a two-minute meditation before an exam or during the exam. So, you know, you get the first ten questions and you're like, oh, snap, this is going to be bad. Like slowing down, meditating, and kind of centering yourself to handle the rest of the exam. I also sat down with a woman who has made meditation her life. It's very informal and it's an opportunity for those people who would like to come together and they can be new, just wanting to learn how to meditate or they can be people who have some meditation experience. Garvey stressed that although she has been meditating for over 40 years, that meditation can be practiced by anyone of any religion. So it doesn't require any particular belief system to be able to do this form of meditation. It's really just about being present and learning to be present and learning to tame the mind and bring the mind back into being just here in this moment. For Bear TV News, I'm Marianne Fletcher. If any students would like to attend these meditation sessions, they will take place on the first Wednesday of every month from 6.30 p.m. until 8 p.m. inside of the Meditation Chapel. This is open to anyone who would like to experience this simple stress reliever. 
my co-anchor also had the chance to cover the absorption of the local Greek chapter by nationally affiliating Greek organization. There are big things happening here on the campus of the University of Pikeville where Alpha Kappa Lambda just announced their absorption of Delta Alpha Lambda. I spoke with the newly absorbed fraternity president about all of the hard work it took to meet the standards and he says they are ecstatic about finally meeting their goals. You know, it was a long process, you know, it was a lot of stress, a lot of late nights and you know it all worked out in the end for the better. Covert also says he has high hopes for the first national fraternity recruiting class. Um, I hope recruits come in, you know, they notice, you know, what bigger experience this is for themselves because you know it's something bigger than themselves. It's something they're gonna, you know, indulge yourself into and you know create that bond with you know their brothers especially their pledge class you know it's a bond that you're not going to really get with anybody else. I also spoke with an Alpha Kappa Lambda representative and he talked about the campus sizes that his fraternity typically colonizes on. We absorbed and they are now a colony for Alpha Kappa Lambda. We came down here and presented and they decided to become affiliated with us and they are now a colony for Alpha Kappa Lambda. He also spoke about the campus sizes that this fraternity typically chooses to colonize with. Our organization has a good mix on different campuses. We're at campuses big and small. We have history absorbing uh, smaller local fraternities. I know from personal experience, you know, it's made me the man I am today. So I'm just hoping the pledge class that comes in, you know, next semester, you know, two times is better. And, you know, I'm excited to see where this is in the future. For Bear TV News, I'm Marianne Fletcher. Thanks, Marianne, for that coverage. The university is excited to have these nationally affiliated Greek organizations on campus. It is that time of year again. The annual midnight breakfast was held on December 9th to kick off the semester's finals. The professors served students a late night meal in order to boost spirits for the upcoming exams. The breakfast also served as a chance for students to mingle one last time before heading their separate ways to finish out the semester. Make sure you thank your professor for taking the time out of their schedule to serve up some delicious food. We also have another Greek-related story pertaining to Greek Week here at the University of Pikeville featuring my co-acre, Jackson Hussey. This week was Greek Week at the University of Pikeville. This annual event consisted of each Greek organization competing for points to win the trophy. This week was Greek Week here at the University of Pikeville and we had a series of events each day that consisted of one day we had Greek Olympics and we had a tug of war game, one day we had trivia night, one day we had construction and it was a lot of fun. We have practiced nonstop. From we, sun up to sun down. Last night we didn't get back from practice until almost 4 a.m. and that's been like a nightly thing for us. Yeah. It took a team effort. So from the Zetas, like our brothers, their brothers, like it was like a team effort because we all like pulled this together. Everyone has everyone put work us. Everyone has worked hard and we're proud of everyone. I'm Jackson Hussey, and this is Bear TV News. Thanks, Jackson. It looked like everyone had a great time and let loose a little before finals week. Next, we've got a story on study abroad opportunity in Italy. As spring semester approaches, it is only a matter of time until summer comes, bringing with it the wonderful study abroad program that lets students get a taste of the world around us. I have led one trip abroad, the one to Germany two years ago in 2014. I have planned this trip for the last year. I am particularly interested in international studies and foreign trips. I've always wanted the Un University of Pikeville to be involved in such undertaking and now that we're doing experiential learning and we're pushing students to be abroad and to learn from foreign cultures. Uh, the trip to Tuscany is 14 days long. It's two days longer. In Venice, we will explore everything there is to see. Students who are interested in this trip, it's not too late yet, even though it is December, students who are interested either in the course or in the trip can contact either Dr. Westgate or me, Dr. Anderson, on campus. Tuscany, it's a beautiful place. 
but it could always use a few more beautiful faces. So why not consider joining? I'm Adrian Smith with Bear TV News, and like I always fight for, don't forget to stay classy. If you're interested in applying for this opportunity, please visit upike.edu for more information. All right, that wraps it up for this edition of Bear TV News. Thanks a lot for joining us, everyone. I'm Marianne Fletcher. And I'm Jackson Hussey. Bear TV News will be back next semester with new crop of students. So in the meantime, you stay classy, Pikeville.